Today we're looking to rebuild another battery pack. We are working on a Gen Z 36 volt battery pack and I don't know what's inside of it. So let's take this thing apart and see what we can see. So far we just have four screws at the very top and this top section is just coming off. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be fairly easy to take apart. Oh, look at that. Huh. That's pretty cool. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna just come out this way. Oh, slips right out. Look at that. Let's take a couple of pictures of this. This is a kind of a, kind of a slick uh, setup. Looks like we have a sensor wire here. These old battery packs are so simple, I love it. Well, all we need to do to take this entire thing off is just desolder these, which we can do right now. Okay. It's desoldered. I think we can just take this entire thing off now. Now we just have this battery pack. 4.5 volts. Oh my gosh. These batteries are so dead. Nothing. Gosh. This is not good. Right now we're just desoldering the BMS wires, or the sense wires. That's our BMS connection. So we just have these now. Yeah, it unclips or something. Both sides? Yeah, it unclips on both sides. Unclips on both sides and then they just, they just fold it over. I gotcha. A little extra right there, it sticks out, it folds over, kind of tucks in there. Okay. Negative starts on this side. And then runs down, we cross over come down okay so we got to take this apart and do it that way yeah this is the only place where it's going to cross over that makes sense okay makes sense All right, welcome back. We are on part two, where we have a new BMS, or other BMS was definitely not working for this part of the project. So we are ready to rock and roll. Hopefully uh, we can get this finished up today. Here's the plan. We need to wrap these around to the other side, so it's gonna connect into here. We're gonna wrap these around to the other side. We're gonna extend them just a little bit. The positive. We are gonna extend down here to the positive, right here, here's the positive. Then these are the negative. We have two negatives. We have a, um, a, a P negative. This is our, our power negative or discharge, our standard discharge. And this is our uh, charge negative. We are bypassing the BMS. So we're not going through the BMS at all and we're just connecting it directly to the positive side of the battery. <clears throat> this is a pretty standard configuration. And then on the negative side, we are connecting up, there's, there's three little uh, 
three little connections here. We have a battery negative, we have a power negative and a charge negative. All these three connections are the same thing. This is just distributing the connections to two different sections. So the battery negative, we're gonna connect to the battery right here. So battery negative, battery negative, these two are gonna connect together. And then this, which is our discharge, it's gonna to go to our P minus, and then our charge negative, where we're actually gonna be charging it through the charge port, is gonna to go to this C negative, or the common negative, or charge negative. That's kind of the plan, and that's what we need to do. And we're also working against the clock because this GoPro, it likes to overheat. I uh, messed up my scissors just a little bit last time. I accidentally, so I was, I was not being as careful as I probably should have been, because this is you know, a low power 36 volt 15 amp um, connection, but it still holds, still packs quite a punch. Definitely be careful. What do you think? Looking good? So the proper way to do it would be to test it before we shove it in here, but I'm really curious to see if this is actually gonna work, work in terms of shoving. So we're gonna shove it in here and see if it works. I think we're good. Okay, that's the battery rebuild. And you can see we are actually good to go here. If I go inside the positive or negative, we're at 41.23 volts. Of course, I have negative and positive mixed up. That doesn't matter. Thank you so much for tuning in to this battery rebuild. So this is a 7.5 amp hour battery, quite small, but it goes pretty far when you only have a 350 watt motor, uh, you know, 250 to 350 watt motor. So this is pretty good. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.